Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my August reset, which is literally insane to say out loud because next month is September. It's almost time for fall. I'm so freaking excited, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I am really looking forward to August. As always, if you enjoy watching content on productivity and intentional living, definitely make sure to click that subscribe button because I'm in the middle of a series right now where I'm talking all about it. And I would love to have you follow along. I have a lot to talk about for August, but first let's start by talking about July. What happened in my life this month? I don't even know where to start. July was jam packed. We got back from a five week trip at the very end of June. So early July, we were really just still settling in, trying to get back into a routine. And then we were gone for about a week to go visit family we had like a little mini family reunion, my husband's 30th birthday, bachelorette party for my sister-in-law. And then we came back home and I had another bachelorette party for my other sister-in-law. I also started a new series on my YouTube channel called the 12 week walkthrough where I'm bringing you guys through my 12 week year goal setting method, which sounds like a plug, but genuinely this is just like kind of a big thing that happened in my life this month because this is the first time in a while that I felt so creatively inspired and like that feels really good. So I'm excited to keep sharing that with you. What was I grateful for this month? For the first time in Ottawa, I'm really starting to feel like I have friends here and that feels really good. I have had friends for a bit, but it's really feeling it now. That's just been like so, so sweet. What did I learn this month? I'm going to be unpacking this even more in a video that I'm actually filming today. But for the last year, I've been in survival mode between getting married last July and September, starting to prepare to move across the country and then being here and settling in and processing culture shock and finding an apartment and starting YouTube. And like, it's been a lot and it was a very long time of not feeling like myself. This winter and spring, there was this little part of me that's like, what if I never do again? What if I never know who I am again? Going back to Vancouver, which is where we lived before, was really good for me because I went back and I felt like I remembered like, oh yeah, I'm a happy person and I'm a funny person. And here are all of these things about me that maybe I haven't been as much recently, but these are still parts of me. And then I've been able to kind of maintain that in coming back to Ottawa, which has been really sweet. So I'm feeling more like myself. And at the same time, I feel like a different version of myself. That really scared me at first, but now it's something that I'm really embracing and leaning into. I'm excited to explore that and figure out like, who am I now after going through a really hard year? And what have I learned? How can this make me better? And how do I use what I've learned to do good and love people and create better and be a better wife and sister and all of those things? What do I want to change for next month? I think this is a very natural follow-up because I really feel like it feels like the last seven months have just been a lot of learning about more recently myself, but in the earlier parts of the year, how to take care of myself and I'm really in a health and wellness nutrition phase. I've been asking a lot of questions about what I want work to look like, what I want my life to look like, what I want my education experience to be. And after months of reflecting and thinking and really just going over that, I feel like now I have the time and the energy and the capacity to start making real changes in both my everyday routines and little habits, as well as the big things in my life and how I spend my time and lots more on that coming soon. I don't want to say like an identity crisis because it's not a bad thing and I'm feeling I'm really good about it, but it's just like an identity shift and I'm really excited about it. Okay, let's talk about August. I'm just going through this in my Notion monthly reset template, which I do always have available for download. I will put the link in the description box. I just have this cute little beachy background for my August reset page. And then my quote for the month is be where you are because I'm feeling so much like excitement and motivation to just jump into the future and get going. But I do also have some big family events happening this month. My brother is getting married and there's just a lot happening with that. So I don't want to go so far into work that I disconnect from what's happening around me. I don't want to wish that away. I want to be really present and engaged in all those moments. I have three monthly priorities for August. These worked out almost chronologically for like kind of the three chunks of the month based on what's happening in my life during those times. The first one is connect. I want to connect with who I am. I know I've gone through a lot of change and I don't yet know who I am on the other side of it. So I'm excited to explore that. And I know it sounds cheesy, but like kind of get to know that version of myself. I really want to continue to just connect and press into what the Lord is doing in my life, the ways that he's speaking to me and using me. And my second priority is challenge. I want to challenge my normal and my habits. July being so crazy meant that I was very distracted. I wasn't the greatest wife or friend or sister this month. And I would like to be better in August and just be more intentional and push myself in those areas. Also running a 5k this 
next month, which I am so excited about. That is not something that's easy for me. And, and I'm really, really stoked to do that. Finally, my third priority is celebrate. I'm really excited to celebrate this new chapter of my life and to celebrate I'm getting a new sister this month. There's just so many good things and exciting things happening in August. So I wanna make the most of them. Next, let's talk about my August goals. Majority of goals I'm setting for this time period are actually part of my 12 week year goal setting system. So you can hear a lot more about that in my 12 week walkthrough series. I'm not gonna get into all of it just because I know that a lot of you guys are watching. So you know what's happening there, but I do have a few other goals that I'm setting. So I'm gonna talk to you about those. Number one is to run the 5K without having to stop once. I am a little bit nervous about this, but I have done it before a couple weeks ago and I'm feeling good. I'm also running the 5K during the phase of my cycle when I should have the most energy, which is ideal. My next goal is to stop last minute uploads. I have a tendency to sometimes push making thumbnails and video details until like the hour before a video goes live, which is so problematic for me because every time I make a thumbnail last minute, it sucks. Maybe it doesn't suck to other people, but it sucks to me. Thumbnails are something I take very seriously. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing video prep several days in advance so that that doesn't happen. Next is to implement daily wellness routines. Something that's kind of snuck up on me and just really surprised me. As big as I am on personal growth, I haven't really taken the time in the last few years to slow down and identify what routines and habits make a big difference for me in my everyday. And I've just been noticing over the last couple months, little things that I wouldn't have expected to make such a huge difference for me. Ice rolling my face, doing my makeup, being really consistent with my skincare, I think are things that in and of themselves may not make that much of a difference to my quality of life. But every time I do it, it feels like I'm learning to take care of myself and respect myself and love myself in ways that I just haven't before. And it's a really physical way for me to do that when I don't feel that emotionally, if that makes sense. My last three goals are kind of milestones that I wanna hit for my 12 week year by this point in time. So I wanna hit 7K subscribers. I would like to have a cleaning schedule made and my first draft of my health and wellness binder complete. Those are all the goals I'm setting in August. I only have one habit that I'm really trying to build this month and that is a morning work routine. So there are certain things that I've been really struggling to complete on a daily basis and it's really not even that they're that challenging or time consuming. It's just that they're almost so short that in my head I'm like, oh, I'll just do this later. I'll just do this later. I'll just do this later. And then it doesn't happen. So I've decided that I want to establish a morning work routine where when I sit down, I open my laptop. The first things that I do are edit a short, reply to any YouTube comments and post in my 12 week walkthrough Instagram broadcast channel, which if you're not already a part of, definitely go join. Fun little group chat. We'll hang out. We'll chat. It'll be great. Things I'm looking forward to this month. Okay. Number one, my brother's wedding. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to sob my eyes out the whole time, but it'll be beautiful. <laughs> number two, we are going to visit Zach's brother and his wife, which is going to be so fun. I will definitely be vlogging that trip. So stay tuned for that. Number three, I'm really just excited about some of the external changes that I'm implementing to kind of reflect who I'm becoming. And number four, I'm really, really excited about the 5k. That is everything in my notion. Now we're going to move over to my desk and we're going to actually do some planning and set some intentions. using my wild house paper monthly list pad to kind of plan out my month and set some intentions. I just filled out the dates, but I definitely zoned out and totally forgot that they do the weekend all in one spot. So I had to kind of rewrite some of the dates. This is honestly like my dream desk pad. I have been searching for a monthly calendar desk pad since I got my desk a few months ago. And I really wanted one that was like aesthetic and cute, but also very practical and would actually help me see my entire month at a glance. And this is definitely definitely my dream. They have this section on the left for intentions in the categories of self-care, soul, movement, nourishment, career, love, social, and giving back. So I am going to just spend some time kind of filling that out. I'm really thinking about what I want to do for each of those areas in my life this month. You are all I want more. It's true. All right, I have gone through my calendar and filled out my intentions. For self-care this month, I'm really leaning into just implementing some daily wellness routines. Oh wow, it is raining. I might get me, depending on the weather, I might get you to drive me. I have a hair appointment today that I'm very excited about. So stay tuned for an update on that. Like I was mentioning earlier, I'm just really focusing on implementing these. So that's a huge self-care thing for me. In terms of soul, I have recently been doing, well, Zach and I have been reading the book, New Morning Mercies every day. It's a devotional and I'm really, really loving that. As a kid who 
grew up in church and youth group, I have read a lot of devotionals in my day and this is by far the best one. I really, really love the writing style and it's just so accessible and a really great way to start the day. And then I also have talked about before, I love the Dwell app, a scripture app that it's like audible, but for the Bible and you can do all of these different settings for the different narrators that you want, who you want to read it, if you want background noise or not. I really love listening to that at night while we're going to sleep. So I wanna make that a regular practice. Movement, I want to walk or run an average of five kilometers a day. As for nourishment, I am really working right now on increasing my protein intake. This is something that I have been struggling with lately and I am feeling physically in my body that I'm not getting enough. So really wanna work on that this month. As for career, I wrote no last minute stress like I talked about and two to three long form videos a week. In the category of love, we are celebrating our anniversary this month. We did have our first anniversary last month, but we're actually doing our little date day in August. So I'm really excited for that. And I also wanna plan three cute dates for Zach and I this month. Social, I would like to host once. Normally I would set the bar a lot higher than that, but because we do have a bit going on this month and we're only home for part of it, I think once is probably enough. And then lastly, for giving back, I wanna to continue to tithe 10% of our earnings to our church. And I also wanna start researching local volunteer spots. This is something I've been thinking about for a while of just like, I wanna be more involved in our community and where we are. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to look like. So I wanna start looking into that now. I also haven't been able to realistically think about committing to something up until this point, but once we're back from the weddings, I'll have a lot more time and just be able to show up consistently. So that's something I wanna look into. There's a little section on the top right of this monthly list pad that says monthly mantra. And I just wrote, these are days you prayed for because in the chaos of everything happening, I think it's been really easy for me to just get like cranky or a little bit frustrated that so much is happening at once. But at the same time, I am living in so many things that I wanted so desperately for a long time that I've prayed for for a long time and watching so many people that I love have the same experience. So I really, really just wanna stop and make sure that I'm taking the time to appreciate that this month. Okay, I'm now just gonna go in and do a little bit of video planning on this monthly list pad. Zach and I have a big wall calendar where we write out important dates that the two of us need to remember. So I use this monthly list pad as a bit of more personal planning. I did not make a list of meals I wanna make this month just because this month I'm really focusing on meal planning according to my cycle. And so that's gonna be kind of a weekly thing that I'll evaluate every Sunday, Monday. So stay tuned for that. I do also have a discount code for Wild House Paper if you wanna check out the monthly list pad or any of their other products. I am such a big fan of everything that they do. They have just created stunning, stunning products to help you kind of organize your life that are really designed with intentional living and connection in mind. You know me, you know that that's something that's really close to my heart and I actually just started using their self-reflections pad and I freaking love it. I really love their mission and what they're doing, so. And you can use my code on the screen to take 10% off of your purchase. I can't recommend their products enough. I think that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this little August reset routine and maybe we even got to reset together. I really appreciate you guys being here and watching my content. It just means the world to me to be able to make these videos for you guys and yeah, just figure out our lives together. It's really fun. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to leave a comment and let me know. It is so helpful for my channel and it means the absolute world to me. I hope you have a good day because today is a good day to have a good day and that's it. Bye!